The dark clouds matched my mood as I sat in the corner of my dang gray padded room, bounded and tight, constricted by this damn straight jacket, staring out of the barred screen thick glass window. I see the rain coming, down in huge heavy drops. I can hear the thunder coming. I can see the lightning cutting the sky in half. Kind of in the same angle as I did when I slipped my wrist. The blood fell fast and fat, heavy, bright red drops. I was so fascinated by the strange and frightening sight. I didn't notice anybody standing there. I don't even remember feeling the sharpness of the blade. As it cut through my skin, through my veins. I was laughing the time. I was out of control. I don't even remember at one point I blacked out because of all the blood I was losing. I woke up in the bed unable to move because I was trapped down. My wrists were bandaged and bound by the wayside. All this so I couldn't hurt myself again. My throat was raw and painful. It felt like fire. I hear the doctor and nurses talking as if I'm not even in the room. My eyes flew around the room and stopped on you. I can see the stains where the tears ran down your face. Your eyes are glass and red. Blood red. It's like the blood that ran from my wrist. I'm sure you won't know why I did it. Maybe once the drugs were off, I'll answer you. The clouds are dark and gray that day too. A lot of my days are like that. But today is the darkest day because they won't let me see you or talk to you. I want to hear your voice. I want to tell you what happened, but they won't let me. They said it was your fault that I did it. They said you weren't safe. They said that you hurt me. Is that true? Did you hurt me? Are you bad for me? No? Why is she safe? Maybe the dark clouds tell me. 